Hi, I'm Stuart Campo with UNOCHA's Center for Humanitarian Data. Welcome to our second training video for Hexel, the humanitarian exchange language. Now that you're familiar with the primary building blocks of Hexel, the hashtag and the attribute, let's take a look at how they can be used to describe different types of humanitarian data. The ability to combine data about who is doing what in a response is essential for creating a common operational picture. Adding Hexel hashtags to humanitarian datasets is one way to do this simply. In this video, we will focus on the core Hexel hashtags and attributes commonly used to describe data related to humanitarian actors and response activities. Hashtag org is used for all organizations contributing to an emergency response. With the help of a few common attributes, you can easily refine the meaning of hashtag org to describe different types of data about humanitarian actors. Let's start with the basics. If your dataset has a column with the names of different humanitarian actors, you could use hashtag org and the attribute name to describe it. If your dataset contains different columns for different roles that humanitarian actors play in a response, you could use the attribute funder for donor organizations, the attribute prog for programming organizations, and the attribute impl for implementing partners. Finally, use the attribute type for data about the type of organization. Let's look at how this all comes together in this sample 3w. The first column contains data on the name of the donor organization. To describe this column using Hexel, you could use hashtag org plus funder or hashtag org plus funder plus name if you want to be clear that the column contains the donor organization's name. Both are correct. Next, we have a column with the name of the programming organization, where the same applies. You can either use hashtag org plus prog or hashtag org plus prog plus name. Again, both are correct, but the latter is slightly more precise. Finally, we have two columns with different information about the implementing partner. Here, you would use the Hexel tag hashtag org plus IMPL plus name for the column with the name of the implementing partner and hashtag org plus IMPL plus type for the type of organization. Now let's look at Hexel hashtags used to describe humanitarian response activities. The most frequently used hashtags are hashtag sector, which applies to clusters and other sectoral categorizations, hashtag activity, which refers to all humanitarian activities in a general sense, and hashtag date, for dates associated with humanitarian operations. A few of the common attributes used to refine the meaning of these hashtags are program, project, activity, cluster, name, code, start, end, and reported. The meanings of these attributes are self-explanatory, so we will focus on how they can be mixed and matched to describe different types of data. Let's start with clusters. If your dataset includes both cluster names and cluster codes, you could distinguish between the two by using hashtag sector plus cluster plus name and hashtag sector plus cluster plus code. To distinguish between programs, projects, and activities, you should always use hashtag activity and then refine the meaning with the attributes program, project, and activity according to how the activity is classified. Finally, let's look at dates. For data about the start and end date of an activity, you could use hashtag date plus start and hashtag date plus end. If you need to distinguish between planned and actual dates, you could use hashtag date plus start plus planned and hashtag date plus start plus actual. The attributes planned and actual are not part of the core Hexel standard, but Hexel users are always welcome to create new attributes as needed. Thank you for joining us. We hope that this video provided a useful introduction to a few of the core Hexel hashtags and attributes used to describe data on humanitarian actors and response activities. Join us for our next video about using Hexel to describe locations.